My name is Param Nimatola. I'm a licensed family therapist and a certified addictions treatment counselor. I'm also the family program director at Orange County Recovery Services. What's the difference between uh, the millennials and uh, what are the characteristics, the common, the, what makes millennials different than every other generation before them? And I really want to uh, stress on the point that they're completely different. And I don't mean they're completely different human beings. The way that they relate with their environment is completely different. And I want to walk you through a bunch of different um, elements to help gain better understanding of what, I, what, what, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to express by this. So a long time ago in life, if somebody was angry with somebody, right, and there was no cell phone, there was no telephones, what would they have to do? They would have to get their anger in a letter, and they would have to write out all the things that they're pissed off about somebody. And they would have to grab that letter, put it in an envelope, put a stamp on it, walk it over to the post office, send that letter off. Maybe a week later, the, the recipient would get that letter, and they have time to read it and respond back to it, and send it back to the individual, the original individual. And by then, the anger's gone, right? The anger's processed and gone. And you know, as technology advanced a little bit, telephones came out, but no cell phones, but telephones. If you wanted to share your anger and you're pissed off at somebody, grab the telephone and call them at their house, but they might not be there. So they have to wait till they get home, listen to the answering machine, call the individual back, and by then maybe the anger's gone. Later on, cell phones came, and if you want to call somebody, you can pick up the phone when you're pissed off and call them and, and start talking to them. And, and now it's getting more instant. So when somebody is sitting in their uh, feelings, sitting in their emotions, they're able to get out of it instantly or deal with it instantly. And they're unable to sit with themselves. Um, if an individual wants to get something they, they don't have, right? I remember when I was young, I had to go into a catalog, for example, right? I wanted to buy my favorite sports jersey. And I had to go open up the pages of this catalog, and I would have to go pick out what I want, write the item name, number, ask my mom or dad for a check, send it off, and maybe two, three weeks later, four weeks later, they send me back something saying it's not in stock. You have to wait a little bit longer. When it's in stock, we're going to send it to you. Well, what happened to the, what's, what's different with the millennials now when you think about it? You know, it's, uh, everything's different. Uh, Amazon never existed in the past. It exists right now. It's something that people use all the time. You go on Amazon and you order something, and maybe four or five days later, it's at your house. And that's not fast enough for some people, right? So what they do is they, Amazon Prime got created. In two days, you can get what you want. That's not fast enough. Right now, if you order something on the same day, that same evening, they could be at your house. Not fast enough. What they're doing is they're building drones to come drop something off at your house within a few hours. People can't sit with the discomfort of waiting for something, right? They can't wait to sit in their emotions. They have to resolve it. They can't wait to get something they want. They have to resolve it. If they want to date somebody, if they want to get to know somebody, before maybe a family member would introduce you to somebody, maybe uh, you would walk across somebody randomly and meet somebody in a, in a grocery store, but now there's social media, there's apps that an individual can instantly screen tens, hundreds of individuals with just swiping a direction. I like this person, I don't like this person. There is no need to wait in order to get something, right? When you look at the different areas of an individual's life that's unique with these millennials is the fact that instant gratification, instant need to change, instant need to get out of a current state is something that is common with millennials. See, the generation before them has some contrast to that. They knew what it was like to wait for things. They knew what it was like to... Um, sit in their own emotions and sit in their own feelings and process that just by the process of waiting. But as the world's getting faster and the modernization of the world and uh, our needs are getting met at a rapid rate, how is that impacting an individual's ability to sit with their emotions and addiction? You know, because that's one of the most fundamental things of addiction is the individual's inability to sit with self and also self-regulate their emotions, right? And the reason why it's so hard for these millennials is because they never had to. People that are born after a certain age and people that use certain uh, technologies in life and use certain um, ways to acquiring the things that they don't have in life, they've never had to wait. 
And now we put them in treatment centers. Now we put them in uh, recovery world, telling them that you just have to be patient. You just have to wait. You just have to slow down. How can you tell someone slow down that's never learned how to slow down? See, for me, it's realizing that I'm getting caught in this rapid race of life and being able to pause and slow down and going back to the way things used to be. And that's where I find a lot of my peace. But to the individual that doesn't have a way of the way things used to be, the way things are the only way it's ever been, it makes a big difference. And when you look at addiction rates and you look at the age demographics that addictions are, are uh, the most highly seen in, it's the millennial population. It's the individuals who have never been able to or ever needed to sit with discomfort, sit with unpleasant emotions, sit with, um, just sit, just be, you know, and that's, uh, that element right there, that component right there is what makes millennials different than every other generation before them. They have no point of reference. They have no past of what things were different. And that fundamental difference is what causes addiction to be seen at such rapid rates. Because what does an individual do when they're really upset and frustrated? They seek something to fix that instantly. They seek something external to change that right away because that's the way everything else in their life is. Every other area in their life, they're able to resolve it instantly. But when it comes to self, we know in the recovery process that there is no such thing. You know, It's being able to sit with self and be okay with self and not need to escape it and not need to change it and not need to run away from it. And uh, most individuals that come in that are of that age demographic have never done that, you know, have never been able to uh, experience that because they never had to experience that.